What is up, everybody out there? How y'all doing? Artist of Strong Style here. Here to give you another deck profile. All right, Fallen of Abbas. Pretty you know, one of the popular decks right now, or particularly it's their effect is particularly like a super polymerization. You can take control of your opponent's monster as long as, of course, yeah, you must use the main, which is their Mary Jade Ice Blade Dragon. Fun deck. Now, here's the thing about Fallen of Abbas. This is not Fallen of Albas. It's Fallen of Albas using the Dogmaticus Shadows. So yeah, it's like a Fallen of Albas with the Shadows and the Dogmaticus. Plus, there's a new tech in here. Well, a couple of cards I put in here that you're gonna use. Well, for me, I don't know if you're gonna want to play this or use it. But further ado, here we go, and I'll show you. So, Fallen of Albaz, it's a dragon. If this card is no more special summon, except during damage step, you can discard one card, then fusion summon to make a Fallen of Albaz. For whatever, whatever you're going to make. Now, particularly all the fusions of the Fallen of Albaz, they're all Fallen of Albaz. So, whichever you're going to make. Now, also... Using monsters on the field as fusion material, including this card. So yeah, like I just said, it's pretty much do whatever you're going to do. But you cannot... But you cannot use other monsters you control as fusion material. It can only be done once per turn. So pretty much, yeah, this is your combo already for doing the Fallen of Albas. Some players do two. I have seen one player, he's done only one. But for me, I use three. Because again, always, I'm not a competitive player. Just for you to know. And I'll say it again. I am not a competitive player. I don't do tournaments. I don't do anything like that. Like of all my deck profiles I've done, I am not a competitive player. So I do creative kind of decks. Like the way I can create it to make it look so like, you know, interesting. All right. So that's the only fountain of Abbas. Now I'll go with Dogmaticas. So you're going to go with your Ecclesia Dogmatica. I'll put the camera right there so you guys can see. It's a spellcaster, level four, light monster. Can I be destroyed by battle with a monster? Special summon from the extra deck. Can only use this pretty much. Can I be destroyed? Except by card effects. Once per turn, if a monster special summon from the extra deck is on the field, you can special summon this card from your hand. If this card is normal or special summoned, you can activate this effect. Add one Dogmatica card from your deck to your hand, except Dogmatica Ecclesia. So you cannot search for Ecclesia Ecclesia. So most likely summon it out. It has the, it has the effect of like a reinforce the army. Search for any Dogmatica card except for itself. Also, you cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn. So pretty much your searcher. Again, most people, they use two, they use one. I go with three. Then you can just go with your Fledris, Fleeters, whatever the heck you call it, the Knight, and a Dogmatica Maximus. Anytime someone will be played a play from the extra deck, rather you or your opponent, you can special summon this from your hand automatically. If you control another Dogmatica monster, you can negate the you can negate the effect of one face up on the field until the end of this turn. When your dogmatic when your dogmatica monster declares an attack, you can make all dogmatica monsters you currently control gain five hundred attack and can only be done once per turn. So most likely it's a special summon already. If you're a, if you just summoned out one special summon, your opponent does one, you special summon. If you have it in your hand. Dogmatica Maximus. You can special summon this card by remo by sending away one card from your extra deck to the graveyard. Special summon it. Once per turn. When it comes to your turn. You can send away two monsters with a different name from your extra deck to the graveyard. And your opponent must do it as well. Of their choice. So you're sending it away. Now pretty much sometimes there's a way you're going to want to do this. So he's just a good special, you know, just special summoner. You have a good 3,000 defensor.
So Shadow Engine is just a Squatamata, Dragon, Beast, Hedgehog, and the Wendy. Okay, here's the thing. I do not use Ariel. I'll admit to you that. Now, here's the thing of why there are lights and darks. Particularly, what you're going to want to do... Pretty much, you get the idea. When it comes down to the shadows, you're going to need some light monsters to make your construct. Which is, yeah, the Dogmaticas are light monsters. So, that's pretty much your help right there. And then, if you do Fallen of Albaz, of course, you need some darks to do your Winda, any others. So, your shadow engine right there. Now, okay. What I do have in here is, again, you're going to go with your little package of the... You need your Dark Magician and your Red-Eyes Black Dragon to use Red-Eyes Dragoon. Now, here's the tech cards. When it comes down to using a Follower of Albaz, you're going to want to use Light Exhaled Fusion. You can substitute this for any one fusion monster... But other fusion monsters cannot be, must be correct by, by the actual name. So most likely Dragoon, you need Dark Magician plus a Dragon or. So pretty much you get the idea. You can add that as Dark Magician when it comes down to your turn if you can do it. Now here's another tech card. Artifact Lancius. Pretty much this card is almost like a hand trap card. Because you can act you can set this card from your hand to your spell and trap card zone as an actual spell card. If it were to be destroyed, just like Harpy's Feather Duster or you know anything else, you can play this from your field, you can play this from your grave, um, yeah, your spell and trap card zone, activate it and count it as an actual monster. Or you can send this card from your hand. Just like, yeah, any kind. Yeah, during your opponent's turn, if this card is set, in the Spell and Trap card zone, it was destroyed and sent to your graveyard, special summon it. During your opponent's turn, you can tribute this card from your hand or face up on the field. Neither player can banish cards from there. So yeah, you get the idea. If you want to stop your opponent from doing any, from them banishing anything, well then, if this, if this is in your hand, you can do that as well. Or you can just have it as a set. And then, yeah, when it comes to it will be destroyed, no. Play it already as an actual monster. And again, yes, light monster. You're going to need some, you're going to need light monsters. And then darks, you have some darks. Light exhales a light. Dark magician, red eyes, black dragon. They're dark monsters. Your only monster that's not a dark or a light is just a windy wendy's a wind monster everything else is light or dark all right so those are the monsters so yeah the only little engine i run in here that's not the dogmaticas or the shadows is yeah dark magician red eyes black dragon and then yes the lancius artifacts All right, so magic cards now. Okay, so the brand of fusion. Fusion summon that mentions Fallen of Albas. So yeah, pretty much you're Fallen of Albas. Whatever you're going to make. Now, already brand of fusion, if it's already in your hand, send away Fallen of Albas and send away another monster that you're going to make out of out of a fusion, now I'm going to show you a trick of what you're going to want to do when I mean by light X sealed. Now here's the thing. Shadow fusion. Now, okay. I would do a third shadow fusion, but I'm sus but I'm I'm gonna substitute it for making red eyes fusion. What you're gonna to need to do. For your um, Dragoon. So yeah, if I wasn't using 
Dragoon, I would count this as a three shot as a third shot off fusion, but I'm gonna count it as two shot off fusion and count this as a substitute, but it's red eyes fusion. Now, Nadir Servant is for the Dogmaticus. Send one monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. Then add one Dogmatica monster or, or, or a Fallon of Albaz from your deck added to your hand. So this helps you. If you do not have Fallen of Albaz, but you need it, you can go Nadir Servant, search for any Dogmatica or Fallen of Albaz. That has attack less than or equal to that sent monster. Can only be done once per turn. So that's why I'm saying Fallen of Albaz is a bit helpful with the Dogmaticus. Now, of course, Nadir Servant was at three. It got semi-limited to two. But that's the whole point of Nadir Servant. Imagine that. You can get a Dogmatica or a Fallen of Albaz. Regeki's up to two. Well, it's at three, but I used two. You're going to need your Harpy's Feather Duster. Monster Reborn. Foolish Barrel because you want to, you know, it's foremost like your Shadows. So that's Magic Cards. All right, the Trap Cards. Shadow Schism. During your, this can be played on your opponent. It's most likely you're gonna make a fusion. You can fusion summon one shot on fusion uh, fusion monster by banishing fusion monsters listed on it from your field or graveyard, but it cannot make a direct attack. Then, if you send to the graveyard one monster your opponent controls with the same attribute. As that fusion summon monster can only be done once per turn. All right. And then torrential tribute and compulse. No more mirror forces. No solemn strikes. No anything like that. Because remember, yeah, playing for fun. I'm not playing those competitive cards. So yeah, with monsters, no ghost ogre, no ash blossom, which I hate so much because that card is just way too much. No and. No interpretive temperance. No evacuators. No anything like that. So yeah, just have some fun playing playing these kind of cards. Alright, extra deck. When it comes down to the Fallen of Albaz, Mary Jade, Fallen of Albaz plus one Fusion Synchro Exit or Link Monster. So this is what I mean by when you're gonna want to do this on your opponent. Fallen of Albaz, you discard one card, whatever it is. Discard it from your hand. You activate Fallen of Albaz plus one of your opponent's monsters on the field. Because when you use Mary Jade, you can only control one on the field. So yeah, only one. Once per turn, quick effect, you can send one fusion monster from your extra deck to the graveyard that mentions Fallen of Albaz as material. All right. So, yeah, that's the effect. But what I meant by taking away your opponent is Fallen of Albas. Because you can discard one card, fusion summon one fusion monster from your deck using monsters on either field. So, this is what I mean by you can take over. But this is when you're going to want to use Mary Jade. Because you must use a on either side. So, most likely, you want to take your opponent's. So there's your Mary Jane. I'll be on. You need Fallen of Albaz plus a Light Monster. You have a lot of Light Monsters in there. And this card is Fusion Summoned. You can Fusion Summon one level 8 or lower Fusion Monster from your extra deck, except Fallen of Albaz, by banishing from the Fusions.
by banishing him from fusion material, mentioned it from your hand, hand, field, and or graveyard during the end phase. If this card is sent there this turn, you can add to your hand or set one branded spell trap card directly from your deck. It can only be done once per turn. Searing Dragon, you need one Dark Monster and a Fallen of Abbas. You have a lot of Darks in there too. Now, here's the thing also when it comes to doing, when you're using the Shadows. Shadows do not require a cost. When you're fusion, when you're making a fusion, it's no cost. If you're paying a cost, the Shadow effects will not go. But when you're fusing, there's no cost to it. So it's like a plus two. One, you're making your fusion. Two, you're getting the effect of a shadow. So it's like a plus two. Plus one, you're making your fusion. Plus two, you're getting the effect of the shadow. Then you can discard one card. Fusion summon one level eight or lower fusion monster from your extra deck. Except the Searing Dragon by shuffling fusion monsters. So yeah, rather they have been removed from play. Or in your graveyard, you're going to make whatever, but you're going to get those materials right back. Rather, if they were banished or in your graveyard, get it right back. So, that's Syrian Dragon. So, Albion is for a light monster. You must banish the material. Searing is getting back the material. Then you're just gonna go with okay. Construct, shadow of, shadow monster plus a light monster. So you have a lot of lights, and you are gonna use this when it comes down to using shadow fusion because that's your only option right there. When it is successfully summoned out, you can send away another shadow monster to the graveyard. Then. At the start of the damage step, if this card battles a special summon monster, destroy that monster. If this card is sent to the graveyard, add one magic or trap shadow card from your graveyard, add it right back to your hand. Winda. Then, you need a dark monster and a shadow. So sometimes you can't go shadow, shadow. But the rules also of shadows is that you cannot do both at the same time. Because you would only get one of the effects. So if you go beast, beast, you would only get one effect of the beast. It's not beast effect, beast effect, no. Just remember on that part. Now when wind is out... Can I be destroyed by your opponent's card effects? Each player can only special summon monst monsters or monsters once per turn while this card is face up on the field. If this card is sent to the graveyard, add a magic or trap that is called magic or trap in your graveyard that is called shadow. Get it right back to your hand. Apple clone. This is when what I mean by sending away card from your extra deck, send it to the graveyard. Because, Apple clone. You need a shadow monster with different names. Alright, so you do not really have that. You only have one option. And that's using Winda, Wendy, and a shadow. But it does not matter. It, it's, it, it's only if you're going to make it. You don't have to make it. You just have the effect of sometimes you want to send it away. By using uh, Nadir Servant. Or if you have your way of bringing out... Um, You'll be doing the effect of uh, Maximus. Because if this card is special summon, you can target one card on the... Yeah, negate it. So most likely you, you do not really care about that effect. If this card is sent to the graveyard, you can add one shadow card 
For me, deck or to the graveyard, to the hand, then discard one card. All right, there we go. If it is sent to the graveyard. Then, pretty much, get any card. So, there you go. There you have it. Get anything. Anything. So, yeah. There you go. This is why you can get anything. So, most likely, your main option you're going to want to do is get your Schism. Now, others you want to send away when it comes down to Maximus or doing the Dear Servant is Elderly Etnis and Fossil Warrior Skull. Whichever you're gonna do, Etnis when it's sent to the when it's sent to the graveyard, destroy a magic or destroy a monster on the field. Well, destroy a card on the field. Fossil Warrior sent to the graveyard once per turn. Well, when it's in your, it's, it can only be played on your one turn. You can move it from play, destroy a monster on the field. So a little distraction if you want to do it. But it's only when you're going to do Maximus or if you have your way of doing it to your servant. And last but not least, Veteran's Dragoon. You need Dark Magician. So that's the complete specific name. And you must use red eyes, fuse, red eyes, black dragon, or an effect dragon. Effect dragon. So you do not always need red eyes, black dragon. You need dark magician, red eyes, black dragon, or an effect dragon. There you go. Any of these. Now here's what I mean by using the um, All right then so let me show you the trick about when you're gonna wanna do here, I'll show you a little trick. When you go Branded Fusion, Fallen of Abbas plus X Sealed. Now, this is when you're going to want to do X Sealed, both at the same time. So you're going to make into a light, right? So you're going to go for your Albion. Now, I was never doing this effect until one of my friends showed me this effect. So you're going to make your Albion. Then you're going to do the effect of make a level 8 or lower fusion. Make a level 8 or fusion, whichever. And banish them. So I'm going to count this. You can create this as whatever name you want, right? Count this as my Dark Magician. And you need a Dragon Effect Monster. One turn. You have this out. Because it's create any whatever. So I'll count this as my Dark Magician, like I just said. And I need a rather a Red Eyes Black Dragon or a Dragon Effect Monster. Level 8. Make a fusion. One turn straight like that. Two monsters. <laughs> That's an effect monster. Well, effect dragon. When you go into your servant, send away. So you want to send away because, yeah, then the effect, if you have it in your graveyard, you can wait a turn, remove it from play, and do some 
damage to destroy a monster. Send away, destroy a card in the field. Or send away, and then you're going to go for whatever, spell or trap. So most likely you'll want to go with your schism already to start playing some doing, doing effects. And yeah, Construct, you need light monsters, so you have a whole bunch of lights. So, yeah, your lights are right here. The Even Atlantia is a light. And then, here you go, your Dogmaticus. Light, dark, so yeah, even if you wanted to possibly play, a, you know, BLS, because it's like a, since you're using light and darks, so remove a light, remove a dark, you can do that as well, but for me... I'm not, because just I'm depending on using these. And yeah, Nadir Servant. You don't have to go for Dogmatica, because it also says if you want to go for Balan of Abbas. Even if, you, even if your fusions are gone, you still have your Monster Reborn. Bring them right back. A lot of options, a lot of fun plays right there. So, Bond of Albaz, Dogmatica, Shadow. And then a little package when you can use the um, Dragoon. And then, yeah, Lancia. So, hope you all enjoyed this. Like, comment, subscribe. Show more deck profiles later. I'll speak to you all later. Peace.